Hello students, so let's see your practical number 5C. Another practical number 5C, you are getting the create a web application. Again, look at the question carefully. You have to create a web application here. So create a web application to demonstrate various states of your ASP.NET web pages. We already covered the state management in the lectures. So now will utilize that knowledge into our practical. So for creation of a web application, we'll create a new project here. After that, you have to select web application with .NET framework and the C sharp and we'll click on the. Now this is our web application number five. So I will click, I will write practical five C and then we'll click on the create. After creation, we'll select the empty and the next one, as you know, it's an empty web application. So I will add one web form here. So add web form and just will take the default name web form one and then go to the design section. Now we'll design our web page. So into the design. Uh, we are going to select one label to show the state of our website. So I will take one label here. Similarly, for the visit count, we'll take one more label and we'll take the visit count on the user click. So we'll take one button here. Now, after that, we'll take one text box to write my name. It's a state management practical. So when you will write your name, it will be transferred from one page to another. So I'm taking one text box here and then one more button to redirect from one page to another. So I'm taking one button here. Now the next one. So here we'll set our text to the view state because for the viewing my state or application, that's why I'm using this button. So I will set view text view state and similarly for my second button i am setting cookies so we'll transfer we'll save first we'll save the cookies into our application and that will transfer this cookie from one page to another now for taking the value first we'll go to the page part so i am double clicking on my button and on the page load we'll set our state for setting the state, I am writing one code. So if is pushback, if my is pushback is true, so if is pushback that is transfer from one page to another, then int will take view state. So view state and view state value is equal to will take view state value. And as you know, it's an integer, so we'll convert dot to in 32 to in 32. What do you want to convert? The state of your application. So I will take view state of my application. To take the view state, you have to take the view state class, and then I am creating one very one text or the ID for my view state that is count, and then you have to just add the count here. So after that, I will write plus one. Okay. Put semicolon here to end my statement. Okay. So what this code will do? This code will take the view state. That is the how many times your application is viewed. So this will take the view state. And every time when you will click on the button, your page will refresh and the count will be increased by one. So view state is equal to plus one. Similarly, the label dot text here label two. I have label two here. So label two dot text. I am setting the text for my label two, and here I will write the same the code that is equal to view state value dot to state. I am setting the value of my view state. So you can print some message before you view view state as well. For example, view state is equal to I am just printing my view state here in the string format. If is pushback is on, but what about if it is not? Then by default, your view state, by default, your view state 
will be set it to 1 so view state count and the value of your count will be set it to 1 so if your is pushback is out now this is done for the view state part now we have to perform the cookie so on the button one dot click inside the button one dot click i will set the label one dot text label one dot text is equal to first we'll set the view state now view state and then count again i'm using that same id here again dot to string okay now that's it the second button will click on the second button for the cookies so for the cookies i am double clicking on my cookies button and then i will create one cookie here so for creation of your cookie i will write http cookies http cookie sorry http cookie so http cookie okay so http cookie and then we'll create one object of my cookie h is equal to new and then again your class name http cookie and here you have to provide the name or the id so i am providing id as name similarly h dot value whatever you want to set so h dot value is equal to is equal to text box one dot text text box one dot text okay so i think it is repeated so text box one dot text that's it the next one we have to transfer the cookie from one page to another so i will write response dot cookies dot add to the edge similarly for redirecting from one page to another i will write response dot redirect <coughs> sorry and will redirect from web form one to the web form two so as you know we didn't created the web form two yet so first we'll create our second web form okay so i will right click on my project we'll click on add web form and then web form 2 so in the cs file it should be web form 2.aspx now under the web form 2 we'll take only single label here only single label will take now to take the single label i will go here and now go to the design part right click view k view code and then on the page load i will set if my cookie is not null so i will request my cookie okay so request dot cookie request dot cookie and then name of your cookie so currently as you can see here under your web form one the name of your cookie is name so i will go here and then we'll take the name and after taking the name i will check whether it is null or not so if not none if your cookie is not none so i will set that text of my cookie on the label so response dot write and under response dot write you have to write welcome welcome plus whatever text you will fetch from your cookie so request dot cookies and then name of your cookie but dot value as well so dot value now i will run my project before running your project just go to the web form one and then click on run button so i will click on yes and after that okay so after running the application we are getting one error here so let's resolve this error let's see the code as you can see the red mark here oh so just miss the plus sign so i will add the plus sign here and then i will again run my code so web form one dot aspx and i will run it let's see the output we'll use the full screen mode now and then okay so label label one first will view our state so as you can see the view is one and the view state is two so i will click on so i will write my name here 
Sumit Tripathi and Josh will click on the cookie. So as you can see, welcome Sumit Tripathi. It is fresh from the cookie which we had created. Now we'll go back to our page. We'll submit it again. Okay. Now view state is again one and the two. So that's it for your practical number five C class. Thank you so much for watching this video.